Hello everybody, my name is FredX and welcome back to Star Sector. So yesterday we actually managed to start building up our little uh, colony and also we're going to do some bounties to try and get ourselves some more money. Uh, oh, this is not good, is it? Let me just use emergency booster mode, go! Uh oh, we made it, we made it. <laughs> you don't want to get stuck on one of those, it's not a fun experience. Okay, so apparently there's a bounty, if we look at the intel screen, around here somewhere, which we got recently. Apparently it's right, oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm literally standing on top of it, apparently. Okay, let's wait a few days though, because we just did a big battle against a random, um, just a random pirate fleet running around middle of nowhere. So wait for the, everyone to repair, and then we're going to go in. It might take a few days actually. I'll tell you what, let's go inside and look for the fleet, and then we'll um, move away until we're fully repaired. Is there a pirate base here? There's those random pirate things. There might be a pirate base. I tell you what, let's go and randomly attack one of the sensor relays and see if they come and try and stop me. Oh wait, I saw something big. There's something big over there. Hello? Oh no, it's just two fleets in one, sorry. <laughs> There's quite... I reckon what was going to happen, they're probably, they're probably all going to run over to me and they're probably going to attack me with a giant... Um... Wait, is the bounty to kill a pirate base? It's not, it just happens to be a pirate base here. That's the target right there. Did you just attack me by yourself, but your ally fleet hasn't arrived yet? Okay. <laughs> If you want to do that, that's totally fine by me. We'll just go and kill you, sir. I probably should have checked, by the way. We lost two ships last episode, and I recovered them. It looks like it's okay. Sometimes they lose bits of weapons and stuff, so it looks, but it looks like it's okay. Okay, let's do this. Take it down, Falcon. Take it down. Yeah, instead of going for the big ship, let me try and get, go for these little ships. Hi, friend. This poor shepherd. Wait, where is... Is this a shepherd? It is. Where is its drones? <laughs> this is the worst shepherd I've ever seen. It hasn't even got any drones. Oh, there they are. Okay, what else have we got? We've got some little frigates moving around. Let's go and kill those guys. Of course, this is going to be the easy battle before the big fleet comes and tries and kills us, so we've got to be careful for that one. I was hoping to see some kind of uh, attack from my fighters, but the, the drover doesn't seem like the best carrier in the world, everybody. But at least we have a carrier, you know. <laughs> it's a bit slow. It's fine. We don't worry about it. I have told it to use its fighters to attack this target, though, so hopefully we'll see them do it in a second. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, they're coming forward. They're coming forward. I want to see a big torpedo strike. Yes. You, you miss. You miss. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Go, drone. There you go. That's how it's done. Good job, everybody. Good job. Wait, are we done here? Here we are, cool. Uh, continue. Salvage, take all, sorted. Okay, so we've got this big guy coming in. I, this is gonna be an interesting battle. <laughs> this guy has a big navy. As you can see there, he has a lot of ships. I don't really think, actually no, I'll say this. Apart from the pirate destroyer there, the second one on the top left, I don't think there's actually that much danger. I think we're totally fine. This, this is not gonna be a problem. Wait, what? That's interesting. Now they're attacking me. I was going to say, <laughs> I think the other guy attacked a bit too quick quickly there. Yeah, let's deploy everybody at the same time. Well, she... We do this. We do it in two ways. So we have the wolves coming at the back here. So they have like, they try and hopefully can flank around. I have to remember as well, I need to re repair the Tempest and the Wolf that was damaged because they both got one D mob, which is a little red bar here. We'll fix them at some point. It's totally fine. Okay, let's try and kill as many of these frigates as humanly possible at the start. damage there. I took way more than I would like there, actually. 
We've got some armor though, it's fine. We can make do. Yes! Go carrier! The carrier's working this time. <laughs> it's a bit temperamental. Okay, so where's the main enemy? This is the main enemy. I'm going to tell the fighters to attack the manticore. So if we can get that guy out of the way, we just won. I don't think there's anything else that can really take us down at that point. Ooh, that was a bit close. I got hit by that missile. Oh, the pirates is getting wrecked. I love having a nice big quality fleet. It is so nice. Everyone's just good at what they do. Which I say that I guess the carrier is not a high quality ship, but I mean everything else is. Uh, did you just did you just yeet our carrier <laughs> out the way? <laughs> out the way, I ain't got time for you. Oh, I was hoping that would do more damage there. I sent my drones because I was hoping we could do like a big like alpha damage attack with all the torpedo bombers there, but it didn't work out. This is looking good though. We think this guy's down. Yeah, cause also these uh, warhogs are really cool because they actually have like mortars on them. The anti-armor mortars. So they're actually really good against ships anyway. Oh, we've completely got this under control. Oh, let's be careful though. Oh. Yeah, it's back up in flux. Looks like torpedo bombers have re... Yes, go my torpedo bombers. I think they, they, they literally just keep flying back to the carrier and refit, by the way. <laughs> so, if you've got a nice bit to carry, you can just continually just bombard enemies with random ordnance. Okay, he's, he's protected again. Let's go for his friend so he's got less protection. Especially this guy. Let's take this guy. Oh, is this a phase? Yeah, it's a phase ship. I'm just going to sit on top of you. I'm sorry. You need to die, okay? We're just going to do this. <laughs> that guy's dead. Let's go for his friend at the back over there. Ooh, that guy did more damage to me than I thought, actually. Oh, took out my shields quite a lot. Yeah, the rest of them are kind of, like, teamed up, which is a little bit annoying. Actually, can you guys go and do some... I don't come out as much as I used to, because, like, they are... If you've got, like, a nice balanced fleet, the game kind of just takes care of itself. But you can, of course, do waters and stuff. But it affects you more later on, because when you get very large battles of proper fleets, you have objectives on the map which give you bonuses and stuff. So you've got to try and do more orders then. But these kind of battles, you can easily just do... You just let the AI do its own thing. Take too much damage there. Have oh, we got it? We got it? Yes! Good torpedo hits. Finish him off! Oh, look at that damage! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to cut off half my army there. It's just you. Is it just you? No, there's another one over there as well. I love how the AI is using the Tempest drones as well. Uh, I just want an army. Like, if we replaced all our walls with Tempest and we just have like loads of Terminator drones, it'd be epic. <laughs> if one just fires Terminator drones at everybody. Who's faster? The missiles faster. If you can't outrun missiles, damn it. Uh, good job, everybody. Nobody died. Nobody died. Uh, we'll pursue the enemy. We'll send off some wolves and stuff to take them out. And then I think we are done here. That's the objective. There is also a random... I don't, ooh, ooh, that's pretty handy. Increase armor by certain amounts. There's also a random pirate base here. So I'm thinking, while we're here, why not just kill the pirate base? I mean, it feels like a good idea to me. Ooh, I leveled up. I leveled up. Okay, I love leveling up. 
What do we want to do now? I've not leveled up in a while. Um, what do we need? I kind of feel like I want to get an auxiliary uh, industry skill. But there's also a lot of other good skills as well. Because, like, for instance, like these ones here, like in uh, all ships of fighter bays get buffs, like 50% faster fighter, uh, fighter replacement is very, very handy. You also get loads of mods as well, so you can improve the fighter decks and stuff. Which is awesome. Oh, maximum. Oh, I see it. It does, only does it to a certain point. Okay. That one just improves the fighter's target accuracy and top speeds and stuff as well. Also very, very handy. I think there's some other fire ones later on as well. Maybe not. Oh, that's a really good one. All ships without officers gain buffs. They're better in general. There is, well, I think all, I, I was saying, I think I said this a few episodes ago, but I do like the skills in this game. They are all very well thought out. And like, it's not just like, this is the good one. This is the bad one. Like there actually is like a lot of choice and what you can try and do. And it also depends on how you play as well. And what you want to pick so i feel like it's, other games miss that quite a lot they, they just have skills that are kind of just like i don't really need this or want this uh i am gonna go for some industry skills because i also later down the line at least it used to i haven't played this in a while let's have a look it used to give you skills which improve your cut colonies there you go all industry supply all industry supply one more unit of all commodities they produce and also you can increase the value of ships and weapons produced as well so like you can um there's stuff that improves there's only one governor skill now. Interesting. So in the past, there used to be loads of governor skills. Absolutely. Where have they all gone? Have they got rid of most of them by the looks of it? Actually, I'm just having a quick look through. I'm trying to see if there's more governor skills. I don't think there is. It looks like they've reduced the amount of governor skills in the game quite dramatically. There used to be like five or six of them. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know why they would do that. But um, it is what it is, I guess. But we need to get that one at some point. Just so we produce more income. Uh, just so we have it. Anyway, let's have a look. So I'm going to go for, I think this one. This one's pretty general, but it means all civilian ships move faster and I get 50% more capacity, all kinds of stuff. We just get more capacity on everything, which is always very handy. In fact, that does mean I can also just take these now. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you again. Okay, uh, let's wait a few days. Oh, the way station's finished. Nice. Can I afford an upgrade? I can. I'm gonna upgrade this to a mega port, which basically uh, it basically gives you more population growth and more accessibility to the market, so we can sell more goods and make more money. It's perfect. Upgrade. Wait, what am I producing here? Organics. W was I producing organics here yesterday? <laughs> I don't remember producing organics at uh, mine. I guess we're doing it now. Yeah, so we're selling organics as well. Oh, I think it's because it switched out. I thought I thought this was crew. So yeah, we're selling organics um, or and transplutonic ore. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We'll take it. We'll take it. This guy is pretty... Like I said, I've only got this temporarily. We'll get rid of this guy later on because... Oh, I guess it does improve my accessibility. So it's better than nothing, right? We will get there. We will get there. 150 days though to upgrade that spaceport to a mega one. That is crazy. But what happened after that? We'll, we'll save up some more anyway, just so we can afford more stuff. We need to get ourselves a defense station and a patrol HQ. This will. Um, this actually spawns ships that go out and do stuff like the AI has. So that's really cool. And after that, we will get some more heavy industry. Probably get some heavy. Yeah, actual heavy industry. I think would be a good one. Anyway, I should stop rambling. Let's go for an attack on that pirate base, shall we? Is there a bounty for this? There's not, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I can. <laughs> because I can. I was waiting for the uh, ships to repair, by the way, which is soon, soon. If you want to attack me? If you want to attack me, bring it on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jog on, man, jog on. Okay, let's go for the kill. Oh, I may have not clicked on it. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, we're going to deploy the big boys, I think, for the start of the battle. I'm kind of worried about this carrier, though. Stay there. <laughs> Until we get more damage on the station, because there's, there's a fleet defending it, bear in mind. So I'm not sure what's going to be like. Also, I'm going to tell my guy to follow me. What are the plans going to be? We're going to try and run through, and we're going to try and... 
avoid the station until we kill all the Az. Actually, what kind of station is it? It may not even be worth doing this battle. Oh, yes, yeah, not really. That's going to kill like three or four ships. That big array of guns. We're not going to be able to survive that. So we might pull back, but we'll try and kill all the little pirates first so we can leave it as a clean disengage. Hi, friend. Yeah, unfortunately, until I get better weapons on my bigger ships, like stations are not as, uh, especially ones with that, <laughs> are not going to be as easy as they should be. Shame that we haven't got the old fight system where you can deploy fighters individually, because it'd be a lot easier to kill stations then. But that's probably why they nerfed it. Uh, anyway. Let's try and kill these little frigates, shall we? Help me, brother! The dual team. The dream team. Now imagine if we had another Tempest. <laughs> we just have Tempest everywhere. That sounded bad. No one said. Okay, good. It sounded like someone just got hit by something big, so. That guy's dead. Cover me. A bit worried about that guy shooting over there. We are in the blind spot right now, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back up, back up, back up. They've got very long range on their guns. Okay, who's left? Uh, Shrike, Navas Shepherd, and a Kite. Oh, you're not looking that good, actually. Oh, no, you're fine. You just looks like you're injured, but you're not that hurt. They need to get their flux back, though. Let me just try and do this for a little bit. No, he's not going to back up. Okay, do, do you need to back up to... Okay, you're an idiot. <laughs> Who? Why are you... You're awful. You're awful. Pull back. We're, yeah, we're not going to do this. We're, this is wasting money. Uh, this is just waste. We're not going to make anything from this. We're just going to lose ships and get ships damaged. So we're going to pull back. Uh, if it survives, it may not even survive now because it's done that. Well, I'm out of here, game. You win this round. We need to clean disengage, though. So I'm going to have to try and kill these random ships around the corners and stuff, like the Shrike and stuff. So I'm going to move in. Where's the uh, Dover? Dover's over there. This guy needs to die. What's that random bit of debris flowing around? <laughs> I don't know. With two tempers, we should be able to kill this strike. Oh, not good. I got flamed out again. Wow, I'm getting unlucky today. Well, at least we can kill this guy. But my engines work again. Oh no! Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. We're done here. You win this round, pirates, with your station that's not really worth attacking. Damn it. I need to get some bigger... I'm just so unlucky with these weapons, everybody. But like I said, I have... This is why I switched gears to get the colony, because we can just build our own weapons and stuff, because uh, otherwise we're just not going to get what we want. Um, for some reason, YouTube luck is not working. It's the reverse in Star Sector. <laughs> Normally I play games, I'm unlucky, but when I play in Star and uh, YouTube, it's fine. But in this game, it seems to be the reverse. So we're not getting the weapons we need. We're getting out of it. But I can just build my own weapons. It's totally fine. And ships. I can replace the Dover with loads of um, Heron class. But, uh, carriers, we can get loads of cool stuff. It'd be perfect. Yep, uh, we are leaving. Oh, don't quit campaign. I want to leave the battlefield. There you go. That's what I want to do. I presume they're going to harry my retreat, but it doesn't really do much, to be honest. So it's fine. We'll just leave. Run away! Okay, uh, what, do we, what do we want to do now? There's some very ridiculous... There needs to be a... <laughs> the, the game goes from having, like, this to this way too quickly. Like, you need to have, like, a middle ground, like, a hundred grand, like, give or take 50k each side, instead of just going from that to that. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Just random mega bounties from small bounties. It's a bit, it's a bit chaotic. 
Uh, let's head back to Sindaria. We made a little bit of money anyway. We can get another mission from the same guy. If I can get into this jump point. Ooh. Made it. It's okay, it's okay. Ooh, what's this? A random freighter. There's something else as well, isn't there? What's this? What are you? Another freighter. <laughs> you know, I might just find a Heron battleship or something somewhere. Who we war with now? Is it Tri Tactical Corporation? We might try and do some, uh, like, um, we just go and kill some random freighters and stuff to get some more money that way, maybe. Smugglers. Because we are all going to have a faction, so we're going to try and kill their freighters and stuff, get ourselves some money that way, and we'll go from there. And also, we'll hurt their economy, which is just good for me. <laughs> oh, I've got another heavy blaster. Nice. I'm going to give this to you then. Perfect. Oh, wait a second. Ah, oh, no, that's fine. Uh, what do you have for sale? Oh, this is the wrong place. This is the wrong place. There are more Falcons, but there's no point buying all these cool holes if we haven't got anything to put on them. The game says no. There's no good weapons to use. Let's go to Sindari itself. So we'd have to unfortunately wait until we can... Um... Oh, we could do some spoiling or something. But we have to wait, unfortunately, until... I'm trying to get to my planet. Give me a second. This levels up the colony size so we can get another industry. And then we can build the heavy industries. Uh, yeah, we get there, though. We get there. It's making us, like, 20 grand a month right now, though, which is pretty cool. I did nothing wrong. I just got here. <laughs> They're so used to me breaking the law, they just immediately scam me as soon as I turn up. But I can't equip it though. <laughs> all these cool ships, I just can't equip them. Oh, I need to repair some of my ships, I don't know. I need to repair the walls and the Tempest that was damaged. A lot of money gone already. Uh, we can give away a lot of this stuff. Oh, that's a lot of cargo we have there. A little bit of money. Uh, sort of the contact again and get another mission, I guess. Or should we want to do that? Nah, we're gonna go. We're gonna do some. We're gonna fight some Tritachion Corporation miners and uh, merchants. That's gonna be the play. Okay, where do you reckon they're gonna be? Um, let's have a look at the map. So, there's a military station there. There's also a double bounty. There's a double bounty. Dude, double bounties. We're going over there. <laughs> double bounty. It's amazing. It's like a double rainbow. I changed my mind. There's a double bounty. We cannot pass up a double bounty. We will kill everybody. And also, it's technically a triple bounty because I'm also uh, commissioned by somebody as well. So you can get loads of stuff. Where do you reckon the pirates are going to be, though? Ah, the, probably the pirate base, I'm going to say. I'm going to say they're going to be by the pirate base. Are any of these guys any good? Military. Let's quickly check the station while we're flying around. Ow! Oh, damn it, game. Oh, they've got some cool ships here. Maybe this faction sells what I wanted, because I originally went for the uh, Sindarian faction, because I thought they sold those carriers, but they seem to remove them from the lineup, which is a bit sad. Um, no, they do not sell what I want for that. So what about for energy? Mm, Iron Beam might be a good shout. Range 1000. I'm going to get an Iron Beam for this. Yeah, yeah. Looking good, looking good. Cool. Oh, there's a pirate over there. But the AI's going to go and get it though. Bad AI. We can kill them together. This is a pirate trade convoy. Cool. Take command of the action. We're going to deploy the super fast. Oh, I've got all those enemies. There's already a big battle going on. Um... 
We're going to all deploy from the left. We are the lefties. We must kill it if so. It's yeah, it's it's sharing the amount of damage you do, so you get as much damage as possible, and we can share in the loot. Look at my little uh, my little wing coming in from the side here. They're even retreating with the mothballed ships, so they have no CR. <laughs> They're barely even working. Hi, friends. Wait, do we have the ever tempest? Here? Oh, oopsie. I was saying we're missing this, this. Get as much damage done as possible. <laughs> immediately, everyone is being murdered by everybody. Get the big freight. No. Bad AI. Stop it. Yeah, that's it. It's my kill. No. <laughs> I'm blocking you from attacking, okay? I don't care. No. Oh, I was trying to stop the rissoles from hitting him. Get the DPS, men! We need the DPS! Bad AI! This is my target. You're not allowed to attack it, okay? I'm in the way. I'm the best bounty hunter. <laughs> Imagine if someone just comes and helps you in a fight and they just get in your way so you get a higher share of the loot. Oh, we've got some of them, I guess. Oh, Ooh. we got some big stuff there. Wait, does that not count? I don't think that counted, damn it. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the power station anyway. I wasn't even in the asteroid belt. That The game's just throwing asteroids at me, everybody. It wants to take me down. The game's alive. Okay, are there, are there pirates here? Yes, there are. No, they're trying to kill the station! Well, we had to help, right? I guess the... Uh, oh, God, yeah, they're, they're all over it, aren't they? Let's go, we're going. The same thing as last time, everybody. Maximum damage on the station, okay? We need a share of the loot. What? I wasn't... Somebody, re re I didn't touch that. I did not, I was, I was dodging that. Well, I didn't dodge it, I was just moving around it, but, okay, whatever game. Whatever. The hitboxes, they're fake. Oh no, this is a big boy pirate station, oh my god. How we even get close to this? This because it's a fleet with us. I was we may not be able to do this. I'm kind of scared about all the wolves, to be honest. Wolves, go and defend somebody. Go on my big ships. Okay, I don't want you guys on the front line here. Tempest. Same thing. Okay, I don't want you on the front line. Ever. <laughs> Look how much damage this thing's dishing out to everybody. Oh no, look who's first. He's not even engaging, that's the saddest part. Oh. I tell you what, even if we're in the battle and we lose, we need to pull back. At least if there's loads of people killed, we can salvage their corpses. <laughs> like a good mercenary does. Keep. Why is the carrier on the front line, everybody? That doesn't make any sense. I'm doing some damage, though, so we should at least get a little bit of a uh, thing here. Let's try and support our ally, though. Oh, yes, yes. Go for it, brother. Is that an allied Tempest? The stations. Why are the carriers and the they need to he needs to work on the carrier. <laughs> Since he changed the system where the uh the carriers need to be close to the enemies to use their fighters, they keep going into front line combat, which is really odd, I do have to say. Is that dead? It looks like it's dead, but it's not actually broken off. Oh. So I don't think this got blown up. Where am I? Oh, no. 
We're gonna get some salvage from this one. Even if we're gonna get a lot of the kill scripture here, we're gonna get a lot of salvage. Because look at all the AI just blowing up. A tempest blew up. I wonder if we can recover that tempest. I'm taking it if I can. Oh, wonder how much damage we did to that station. Oh, we got some of it. Is it, is there a way it's this percentage somewhere? I think we did. I think we did a good job there, though. We got we got a few of them. Yeah, we got quite a lot of the loot as well. Yeah, I think we did a did an okay job there. Ah, oh, yeah. I wish it had like a percentage on how much you've done. That'd be pretty cool. We can do a raid, but we haven't got enough marines. So they're gonna lose if we do that. Okay, can we salvage? Oh, I didn't get a chance to recover that Tempest, though, which is a bit sad. Well, we came here for the double bounty, but it looks like the AI is already taking care of the station anyway, so I guess it was, it was kind of pointless. Uh, let's move on, shall we? So that means we can go for the other plan, which was go here and try and kill some traders and sell off their goods. Uh, before we leave, though, let me just go back to that place and sell the cargo we picked up. That's a bright sun. My eyes are literally burning. <laughs> the brightness is just too damn high. Okay, let's sell the weapons. Oh, look at this stuff we can sell. Loads of cargo we got as well. Beautiful. Wait, what was that I was selling? Ah, uh, it's probably nothing. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't even see what it was. Oh, they like us enough to sell military weapons now. Wow, we can buy a military shuttle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but that does mean that they've opened up our this shop, though. Is there anything good in the shop? No. Or we, if we just get better relations, we can buy the weapons we need. Look, we can get, look, look at this thing. A plasma cannon. An auto-pulse laser. A, a thing. <laughs> An assault gun of some description. Who knows what that really says. And my favourite weapon, the hypervelocity driver. But it's possible. It is possible. I thought you were trying to kill me for a second. Ow, damn it. Damn it. Oh, not even a... <laughs> Look, game. What? <laughs> this place is cursed. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. There's, there's fuel. The, the asteroids are, are alive. Okay, that doesn't work. I, I ain't trying that twice now. Oh, they just stopped the war of the tri -tac. There's no more war, everybody. The war's over. I'm sad. I'm super sad now. Well, I guess we're going for another bounty then. We have to do more bounties. Bounties for the bounty god. Problem is this fact. I would have had high relations with this faction by now, but every time I go to their damn homeworld, there's an amazing ship in the black market I had to keep buying. It's it's wait. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Well, I say that, that is pretty juicy, but we're not going to go for it. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's see. Any good weapons? No. Yeah, because they're not even selling good weapons in the military market here. They're not even... They're selling some pretty bad weapons. This is not... They've clearly changed the faction balance at some point since I last played. And this is a faction you do not want to be part of. <laughs> they do not sell the weapons I want, which is a bit sad, but oh well. Uh, anyway, let's talk to the dude. Oh, he's selling a destroyer. Sundra. No, I'm good. Uh, let's see. Changing target. £1,200. Let's go and do it. Where's the bounty, though? Tell me where the bounty is. It's back where my my place is. Nice. So we could probably do them. We will go over there, do the bounty, and then we we'll go to our home world again, and then we might do some exploring because uh, that'd be good to get some. Ooh, that's a lot of money doing that. Do we have enough supplies? It looks like we have enough supplies. I'll just get more fuel. I can't be bothered to go to the jump gate. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, why, um, if we play this again, 
uh, we will do the next room. Uh, next room. Next room. There's a massive mod that turns the game into like a like a four X where like factions expand and then like take over systems and attack each other, like with invasions and stuff. So we'll use that next time, and with some mod fleets and stuff as well. So we're getting quite. Yes, yeah, so what we do, we go over here, kill the bounty, go over here, get some fuel, and we'll explore these systems. There might be more colonies we can get. And unfortunately, it will take some time to get this colony up and running, though. Uh, let's look at it again. So it's currently 39% of the way to getting an extra level. But like I said, until we get that, it's going to take a long time to get up and running, so... Two hundred eighty-nine grand bounty. Look at that battle shit. That's insane. That's insane. Guy, yeah, I think the guy's here. What actually is the bounty we're doing, by the way? I probably should check that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It just says he's in here. Okay, I guess he's just nearby somewhere then. Come out, come out, wherever you are. He's right over here. <laughs> Now, we haven't been here before. What planets are there? Ice Giant and Frozen World. We have to check out the Frozen World. If I... I want I want I want a Frozen World. I want to call it Winter. We have to do it. I think he's here. There's something... There's something here. Oh, there's loot and stuff. And a station. There's no way I'm fighting a loot at Path Station. Oh, he nearly got me into it as well. Another nano core? Yeah. We can keep that. Automate repair unit. Pretty handy. And whoa, look at that ore. What the hell? Yeah, there's no way we're, <laughs> we're not gonna keep that. That's a lot of ore. I can carry a lot of stuff now though with that but a buff I got recently. Damn boy. That's loads of stuff we all's not worth a lot though. So it made it like, oh you got a jack point there. There's no way I'm gonna actually be able to carry all that. Class 1 survey, it's awful. But there is in a ruin here. Harvested organs, great. That's what I want to find. Imagine like... <laughs> Imagine you got like... Um, like Indiana Jones and he goes into this ancient ruin in like uh, the like uh, Mexican jungles. And he does find a bunch of harvested organs. <laughs> You're like, wow, great. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I guess they didn't have shrunken heads in one of them. I guess they did find something similar, just random heads. Like, I, wait, I say this. No, I, wait, wait, everybody, I'm thinking about this wrong. This is the same as Egypt, but they, they're, not, they're not working anymore. It's like going into Egypt, finding a mummy tomb. Like, what's this on the shelf here with all these urns? It's just organs. Ah, <laughs> great. So I guess it was actually a thing. Okay, um, I have not found the main boy. The main boy is not here. Go down this way. I gotta keep away from that station because if they attack me with, where's the main boy, everybody? Where's the main boy? He is here, right? He is located in the Gamma Mu star system, which is exactly where I am. So let's go. Let's go around the edge a little bit. These guys will probably come with me, friends. Now, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, sensor range. I'm gonna take your. Sen I'm gonna hack it just so we have more sensor range. Where's this guy? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe not. Where is this guy? Also, I'm making way more money now. Has anyone else noticed that? It seems to have gone up. Is it basically about the size of my fleet? Maybe? I don't know. And of course, we are making money from the colony now as well, which... I don't know where this guy is. They normally stand by a planet, but that's not... That's a... Uh, a pirate station or a ludic path station in this case are you him where's your friend very weird very very weird I'm not sure where this guy is oh oh that's another one there's loads of you come on attack me in one big group I want to see a big Yes, there's loads of... Oh! <laughs> um, this is going to be a big battle, everybody. We're going to have not one, not two, not three, but four fleets. 
attacking us at the same time. That is a lot of enemies. <laughs> now, they are, if you look at the enemies we're fighting here, they are mostly easy to deal with. Now, the ones that are slightly green tinted, they're going to be the Ludic Path versions, which are going to be faster and they're going to be a little bit more dangerous. But if we should overall be okay, I think. Okay, so what I feel like we need to do here, we're going to support everybody and we're going to have people defend the carrier. Now, hopefully we can fight around the carrier and go from there. I am a bit concerned about... Let me just see how this goes. Let's see how it goes. I need to push forward right away, though, because there's so many enemies. We need to try and kill as many as possible. Yeah, look at that. They're everywhere. They're just everywhere. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. What? Oh, I didn't think that was going to hit me. Sorry, I, I messed it up big time. Well, luckily it hit me in the front, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Oh, there's the hammerheads are going to be kind of scary to deal with. And they got uh, Reaper torpedoes as well, which is terrifying. Look how many enemies there are. Oh my god, we're in big trouble. We are in big doo-doo. There's so many targets over here, though. Let's go for it. Okay, how we, I'm going to try and move my attention around so we're always helping where we... Whoop. Oh, they got the engine. Oh, no. Help me, help me. Wait, who's just lost their flux? I don't know. So we actually, if you look around, we're doing okay. We've not taken any serious damage ourselves and we've actually damaged a lot of these hammerheads. So hopefully they're pulled back. I kind of think we can gank this little ship here. We're going to set these guys on attack with the Enforcer. We're going to try and take this guy down. Um, also in the same... Yeah, let's, let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Super team! Oh, I've lost one of my weapons. Oh, it's back on mine. Oh, wait. Cancel order. It's going back into the fleet. Never mind. Back to what you're doing. That might need some help there. Buffalo dead. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, there's so many enemies. It's like we're being constricted into this thing. We need to keep our avenues open, though, for uh, moving around. So, Sundra, this is going to be good. This guy has very low de uh, defense. Especially if I do this. Excellent job, everybody. Excellent job. This guy also looks pretty squishy, if you ask me. Ooh, this guy's over there. We are being constricted, though, big time. We are being pushed into a little corner, which is terrifying, to be honest. They're dead. Okay, I'm going to flux. That looks bad for that wolf. That wolf needs to leave. In fact, most of our army is looking pretty dodgy right now. If we get a big kill, we can pull back for a clean disengage and maybe re-engage. I think that's going to be our target right now. Is that wolf okay? Wolf, leave, leave, wolf, wolf. We're not... Oh, no. Retreated, retreated. Uh, that's about to pull back. I think we pull back the big ship there. We're going to pull back. We're literally a few seconds away from getting enough to do a clean disengage. And we can re-engage again with there's less enemies to push us back as quickly. Ninety-seven percent game. We need one more kill. One more kill. One more kill. Okay, you guys, just break formation. Go for that Vlasher behind us. Dover, get out of there. Yes, yeah, what we'll do? Dover, leave. Break, uh, break thing there. You leave. Everybody, just get rush that last ship. Okay. Actually, no. What we? I can do it myself. Yes, that's a better idea. Um, you are all to leave. I'll leave those wolves there. I can kill that last ship and we can get out. Clear, clear. You need to leave, guys. Oh, no, he's got backup. Wolves, you leave as well. You're kind of by yourself right at this point. Get it, get it, get it, get it. 
We lost the wolf. I did tell him to retreat. That was our own fault. Okay, I'm out of it. Oh, I'm upset we lost the wolf there, but like I said, that was his own problem. He he was told to retreat. He did not retreat. That was his fault. Uh, let's see. So we have fa fallen back. We have lost one unit. We can move in and engage again and do the same thing without that other ship. So this is going to be the same battle again. We do exactly the same strategy, but this time there's far less enemies to engage us and they've had to pull some of their units back because they're damaged. So there should just be less enemies. So hopefully we can maintain our fleet in the middle of the battlefield easier this time. Oh, I'm kind of annoyed we lost that wolf, but I mean, like, I did tell it to retreat. It was right at the edge of the battlefield. It could have just done it. Okay, deploy. Now, as also, because our CR is so high uh, from all my skills, we are pretty much going to battle with full strength again. 8% CR on all my units. I can do this two or three times in a row if I need to in larger, larger battles. That's a face ship. Screw that. They've deployed the damaged um, hammerheads. Interesting. Especially that one at the back there. We could probably get some good kills here. I'm not a fan of this splitting in half factory, everybody. That was not the plan. <laughs> oh, that wolf just blocked that, uh, the Falcon's attack there. Yes! Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, um, I'm going to help call that phase ship, I think. Just get it out of the battlefield. I mean, the wolf might be able to do it by itself, but I'm not really... Let's just help it. Hi, friend! Look at all those shepherds. <laughs> There's four, four shepherds. There's a, this, is the, this is the shepherd zone. They're, they're herding. Oh, that didn't look good, though. How have, how have you let this happen, guys? You're only be defending the target. No! You're out of there. You're out of there. I'm not risking you being in the battle anymore. Get out. Okay, switch target from the fence from Dover, which is retreating, and we'll switch it over to the Falcon, the main defense unit. Oh, I didn't die. I thought I killed it. Oh, my engines. No. <laughs> oh, that needs to leave as well. This has not gone well. This has not gone well. The second phase has failed. We're going to have to try and pull through with the units we have, which is not great. Dover, stop sucking so much. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to move some units around for a different deployment phase, I think. We're going to get you guys up there. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, change plans again. Dank that unit. This Dover's not going to escape. I don't think it's going to make it out, the, out in time. I will try and defend it if I can, but it's it's miles away from the exit here. Oh, I'm, the, I'm I've got to leave as well. I don't think it's going to escape. I, I think it's dead. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's gone. Damn it! I said the Dover's useless. I I shouldn't have bought it. Uh, I was avoiding buying f things like that for a while because I'm not a fan of slow ships. I, I don't think they're useful in tactical situations. And I'm right. <laughs> okay, so we've got loads of enemies left here, but they're all kind of like subpar combat ships. So I think with the power of the hammerheads, we should be okay. So that, this guy's a problem, this guy. This is a very good ship, this one I'm getting chased by right now, though. If I can get one of them myself, I'll be very happy. Oh, that's bad. Bro, what are you doing? Bro. 
might as well back again. <laughs> um, it looks bad, but it's not as bad as it seems because that's just lo really loads of really low level damage there. I don't think it's going to be easy, but we're doing it. We are, we're getting through. Is it just the shepherds left? It looks like it is. Okay, we looks like we got it. So we lost a wolf and we lost a dover. I'm going to let the dover go, but I'll try and recover the wolf. Yeah, I need to get, if I can get some of these as well, because these are very, they're very fast and they got a good shield. So they're just a good all round ship. They're, I think they're probably better than the wolves, if you ask me, actually. Well, I don't know. They seem to very, they seem very effective. At least they're, I think they're on par with the wolves. So we'll try and get some if we can. So I can't get it. This is my other temper, so it hasn't got the same fit as the OG. Why have I randomly selected a target miles away across the battlefield? <laughs> What's happened over there? Dead. Can I it? Okay, I'm doing okay here, but I'm gonna okay, hop the other one. Oh, I missed. Nice, we're coming up. We've only got, we've, we've done it, we've done it. We survived. That was pretty low losses to be honest. I thought it was going to be a little bit more than that. I did expect that the Dover was going to die. It's just too slow. It is, it just hasn't got what it needs to be a good all rounding ship. So. There's only two left and I want to capture the ship if I can. We need some of these. Wait, didn't we get Ludic Path Blueprint? I'll check out. I think I've got the blueprints to build those already. Nice! We survived! That was a lot of people dead. Um, we can actually recover it. No. We're not recovering it. Uh, I'm recovering my wolf, though. We can recover a Sunder, but it's absolutely messed up. Uh, no, we didn't get any of them. We'll leave it as that. I'm sorry, Dope Drover. You're not good enough. Oh, they've escaped. The oh, no. Is that the person that was the bounty? If the bounty escaped, I'm not going to be very happy. <laughs> Damn it. Who do, who do we have to kill in this battle? One person. Who do we not kill? The one person. <laughs> that was a big battle, though. We killed all of it. Uh, they are trying to escape, though, so we need to get that clamped down as soon as possible. Uh, let me just quickly upgrade... Gamal. Let's give him... These are not great. These are not great. I'm gonna go for impact mitigation. No, wait. Yeah. No mm, point defense. I think point defense maybe. Let's go for point defense. Okay, uh, let's get that guy. We're not letting him out. Wait, this is the wrong. Did we get the? Did we get the person? I think we got him. Okay, we got the, we got the target. We're fine. We're good here. We're good here. Sav scavenge. That was a big battle, everybody. Well, uh, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. We made some good money though. That was a that was a fun battle as well. We, we are getting close though. If we if I quickly go and look at the army we have, 
73 days this will be back online 47 percent growth rate it goes up quite quickly the first few ones once we get that sorted out we will buy a heavy industry we will install our nano core and we will start building all these ships i keep saying about so if i go to custom production doctrines view blueprints we can build heron first carriers we can build um what else can we build everybody what else can we build Fury light cruisers. We can just build falcons. We can build sunderers. We can build shrikes. We can build hammerheads. We can build wolves. <laughs> we have what we have. We have what we need already in terms of the blueprints we found in the game so far. Oh, I was going to check boot path. We can even build those brawlers I was talking about as well. There it is right there. So we have the capability to build what we need for a good, nice fleet. Uh, we just need to get there, which is just a matter of time at this point. Literally, it's a matter of time. So. But other than that, hope everyone has enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.